Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another <clears throat> daily episode of Derm Path Made Easy. This was a case that was requested by me from somebody who posted in the comments. So for all those that participated in the unknown, this is Mermesia. <clears throat> and this is Molluscum. So let's start with Mermesia. <clears throat> Mermesia is a viral wart that's commonly found on the hands and the feet, or acryl. Sometimes we call it palmar, palmoplantar wart. And the reason they're called mermetia is because of the clinical appearance of that it looking like an anthill. <clears throat> so this is an anthill, probably the largest anthill in recorded history, but that's what an anthill looks like. And you can see clinically, it has this sort of mounded appearance. Um, and there's multiple little words here. These, are, these can be found in pretty much any age, but I usually see these in younger people. Let's look at microscopically now. So from a low power perspective, you can see here that we have, assuming that this area here is normal, you have an endophytic, which is a downward growing lesion, and also exophytic pupilla. So I have a cursor here and that I'm moving around, my mouse is moving around here, so you can follow it, it's in red. The exophytic process, I'm trying to outline it for you right here, <clears throat> and it has endophytic downward growing pattern. So let's go to higher power. So the keys to the diagnosis, and this is the clue to the diagnosis, because these two, these two viral inclusions between molluscum and mermetia can look quite similar. But to me, <clears throat> if, if you study them closely, you'll see exactly that it's very different. So in mermetia, because it is a wart, it still has hypergranulosis. You see, uh, in here we have these sort of coarse keratohyaline hyaline granules um, and hypergranulosis. <clears throat> And you can see the nuclei are still fairly large. You can see this open vesicular chromatin with clump, clump chromatin, rather. Uh, the little speckled dots are actually the chromatin there. And these are intracytoplasmic inclusions. The nucleus is still fairly large. And here are some other ones that are very large. And you can see that within the stratum corneum, you have these large rounded nuclei that extend all the way throughout the stratum corneum. So if you do see epithelia, you can see that the cells here are fairly large and they have this hypergranulosis, typical of warts. And within the cytoplasm, you have these <clears throat> fairly uh, purple to sometimes red appearing viral inclusions. So this, in, this is in contrast to a molluscum. So this is what molluscum looks like clinically, uh, histologically, but molluscum, uh, is, is due to molluscum contagiosum, which is a pox virus. <clears throat> so this is the typical clinical appearance of molluscum, and what you see is sort of this skin color to pink papule, lifted papule, and they can often be umbilicated with a slight keratotic center. So you can see the umbil central umbilication there. They usually occur in crops. So clinically, they look very, very different. They're not hyperkeratotic and they're not scaly like uh, in the Mermesia wart. See, this is all that yellow stuff on top, that's scale. So here you have, it's just dome shaped. It looks probably very smooth with the central umbilication. Sometimes these can occur in immunocompromised people or in uh, younger people. That's generally the population that I see these lesions in. <clears throat> Microscopically, we have a largely endophytic process, you know, they're, they're, and here's a dome-shaped papule endophytic process, and you can see here, usually these things are vaguely follicule-centric. The molluscum virus uh, likes to hide into hair follicles and expands them. Let's go to higher power to take a look at what this looks like. So the molluscum bodies are, are larger than the mermetia bodies. And they, they're so large that they usually displace the nuclei of, of the keratinocyte off to the side. And you can see here, this is probably a nuclei. These little things here are the nuclei, which is in very sharp contrast to our Mermetia wart, where you have large nuclei, 
the cytoplasmic inclusions tend to be a little bit smaller, although they can be variable. And you, you really don't have that hypergranulosis in the coarse carotid hyaline granules like you see in the Mermetia. I guess down here you have a little bit, but... And these are very characteristic. They, they are, you know, redder in color than the Mermetia. And so you can see here again, we have some more nuclei that are sort of well displaced. And these are, the special name to this is Henderson-Patterson bodies, um, or you can just call them molluscum contagio, some viral bodies. Oftentimes they can sort of flower up, flower through the epidermal surface like you see here. And these are highly contagious. You know, that's why clinically you often see multiple papules just like this. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> occasionally these things may rupture. You can imagine a child trying to pop their pimple. Uh, and when these viral particles get down to the dermis, it becomes a nightmare. And oftentimes it's very difficult to find the, the molluscum bodies to make the diagnosis. And I don't have a picture of it, so I'm yanking this off of Google, but you know, here's your molluscum and also on the surface here, but you have this florid inflammatory reaction. And oftentimes it could even be more subtle than this. All right, thanks guys. Ho hopefully this helped. If it helped, please subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends. I typically post something uh, three, to, three to four times a week. Check back in. Thanks, until next time.